Tuesday. This week we're talking about lane pattern graphs, how to read them, and what are the key elements that you need to know. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is identify what type of lane oil graph this is. These are from Kegel. So with Kegel, it's like reading a book. You wanna start in the upper left corner and work yourself down the sheet. The number one important thing when looking at an oil graph that will help you determine on where to play is oil pattern distance. This oil pattern distance is 37 feet. This tells you where your breakpoint should be. Once you've identified the distance of the pattern, you want to look for the one that says volume total. There's going to be a lot of other stuff on this sheet that can be very confusing, but just kind of weed through all that and you want to come over and find where it tells you the total volume of oil. This pattern has 25.6 milliliters. This is telling you pretty much what type of bowling ball that you're gonna need. A bigger core, a stronger or weaker cover, pretty much everything else. The next thing that I think is important is I go all the way to the bottom of the sheet and I'm looking at this graph. This is telling you how the oil is distributed across the lane. So everything is based off of one. So on the outside, you can see the buildup of oil is 1.57 to one, and in the middle of the pattern, it's one to one. So this is where the flattest part of the pattern is gonna be. The lower that number generally means the lower scoring pace that this pattern is gonna be. Why I think this is important is because when I'm bowling a tournament, and if the pattern says one to one and it's super flat, I know if I shoot 200 or 210, it's probably a pretty good score. So those are the three most important components of how to read a lane graph that will help you be a better bowler and score better on these patterns. But there are some secondary information on here that is extremely important. Like over here in this graph, this is showing you how the oil is distributed and the shape of the pattern. So you can see on this pattern, there's a little bit more shape built up into the pattern here, giving you maybe a little bit more leeway of Miss Room, where over here, it's spread out a lot more. It's a lot flatter for a lot wider on the pattern. And then down here on the bottom, it's gonna tell you this green and red, the reverse oil versus the forward oil. So forward oil and reverse oil. Forward oil is applied to the lane as the machine is moving towards the pins. Reverse oil is when it then applies oil as the machine is coming back towards the foul line. And when there's more reverse oil on the lane, it actually will help the pattern hold up a little bit longer. I really, really hope that going through this and understanding what the important key components of reading this are will really help you and help you become a better player. Good luck out there and we'll see you next week.